We've got Republican Senator John Barrasso, who just penned a very good column on this entire subject and, and, and what has gone on with this whole Iran fiasco. But as you pointed out, um, Senator, the, 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 the problem was right from the get-go, that if you know you have a bad deal, it just gets worse. Uh, but here we be, right? And, and Republicans don't look like they have their act together. No offense to you. Am I misreading something? Well, uh, you're, you're absolutely right about a bad deal. The president wanted it bad, and that's what he got, a bad deal. It allows Iran to develop a nuclear capability to have a weapon. It's a pathway to a weapon. It gives Iran lots of money that I think they're going to use for terror and terrorism. They've done that in the past. Uh, it, there's secret deals that we still are trying to get to see. We met with the heads of the, uh, the IAEA, this International Atomic Energy Association Agency, uh, and they couldn't tell us that any American had seen these. Iran has now seen the IAEA, them, but not so Americans. I want to be clear on this, Senator, because this is one of the more galling features of this measure, whether you're yeah. for or against it. The IAEA feels that it does not have to share whatever it agreed to with Iran with anyone, uh, let alone any of the other countries that voted for this. So and that's why that's I think weird, there are Democrats right? that are. I think well, I I think that's why there are Democrats that have come out opposed to this. Senator Bob Menendez, who was former chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Ben Cardin, who's now the ranking member of the Foreign Relations Committee, they were in that meeting as was yeah, I. Yeah, what's going to we happen, Senator? Offended. What's going to happen? The president's got at least 42 yay votes. So yeah, the president uh, has something been dramatically changes. What do you do now? arms to get this. The president is using scare tactics. I know, he says I know, I know. But what are you more? going to do? I know you don't yeah. like the tactics. We need he's a vote using, on this. But, but we absolutely need a Senator, vote. Senator, the, these are tactics your leadership agreed to. The no, we agreed to a vote on the floor of the Senate, and the Democrats right now are filibustering. No, our no, no. Efforts. Your leadership agreed that it would floor. take two thirds vote to to override a presidential veto, even though they would overwhelmingly reject this deal, as it looks like they will. They agreed to the parameters of this debate that seems to be all in the president's favor. Iran's parliament is going to have a vote on this. The UN has had a vote on this and where Russia's had a vote, but yet the Democrats in the United States Senate right now are filibustering our attempt to have an up or down vote on this. The agreement was there'd be an up or down vote. I want to vote to disapprove the deal. And the Democrats right now are filibustering this. And it, I think it's absolutely a, a terrible thing for the country and, and a really But who a, is a, making a that lack of a vote possible, Senator? You're a gentleman and a, and a patriot. But uh, you know, a lot of your colleagues, Senator Lindsey Graham uh, yesterday, telling me that Ted Cruz might mean well, but it's, it's folks like him and Donald Trump who are complicating this process and preventing a vote which could at least relay sentiment how folks like you and and your colleagues feel do you do you agree with that well we need a new president in the white house this is a terrible deal barack obama's foreign no, that's policy not what I asked. worldwide he, no, no, that's has not what I, been he terrible. blamed ted cruz for pushing you to this point do you concur well, I don't blame anybody who's running for president or any of our senators. What we, I blame Barack Obama for negotiating a terrible deal, making the world less safe, less secure, less stable, and giving Iran a path to a, a bomb. I think that the foreign policy has been terrible, not just with Iran, but with the reset with Russia. And Hillary Clinton is much to blame. She is the one, and she's actually taking credit, she says, for opening the door to this arrangement with Iran, to realize they had to be able to enrich uranium. She She's running for president. All of our candidates, any of our candidates, is better than she will be. And that's why I'm going to support whoever the Republicans nominate against Hillary Clinton if she is nominated, because she gives a tough talk about Iran yesterday, but she's the one that allowed Iran to develop this pathway to a bomb. All right, Senator, it's always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very, very much. That's the